Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and here in this video I'll be showing you how to enable modding for Fallout 4 on PC and it's actually pretty simple, all you gotta do is make some any tweaks in your any preferences in your documents folder. So anyways, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that right now and it's actually pretty simple like I said. So let's go ahead and go to our my documents and you can do this by just right clicking your file explorer and going to documents. Or you can go ahead and just open up your file explorer anywhere and open up documents. So from here you want to go to my games, go into Fallout 4 and go open Fallout 4 preferences. You can open this with notepad, notepad++, really whatever you want as long as you can open up, edit it and save it. So let's go ahead and open that up and we're going to want to find launcher. You can do this by hitting control F and typing in launcher, sort of like this and typing in what you want to find. Or you can go ahead and just scroll down to the very bottom where it should be. Now below launcher you'll want to enter in this line right here. B enable file selection equals 1. You can find this in the description down below. And you can go ahead and just copy and paste it right at the beginning of launcher. And this will not be there initially. It's a line that you actually have to add yourself. So you can go ahead and just click after the bracket for launcher. Enter a new line and paste it. So anyways after you've done that go ahead and save your preferences file and go ahead and close that. From here what we want to do is make a brand new any file by going right click, new, and text document. From here we want to go ahead and edit the dot text to dot any and we want to save the settings. Now if you can't see the dot any and dot text, what you want to do if you're on Windows 10 is go to view and check off file name extensions. And then that will go ahead and allow you to see the file extensions such as .ini, .mp3, and .text, that kind of thing. So anyways, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and also rename the file to Fallout 4 Custom. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit enter and open up this .ini. Once the Fallout 4 Custom .ini is opened, you want to go ahead and paste the other lines that are left down in the description below into here which is the archive, b invalidate older files, and s resource data and that's all you have to do here and you can go ahead and click save and close it off. And that is actually all you have to do to enable modding for Fallout 4. You can now use whatever mod manager you want, install the mods off of Nexus or whatever website you want, and the mods will work. So meshes, textures, and everything will be loaded properly, and all will be well. So anyways, if this video did help you out at all, go ahead and smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already. Also, go check out sugarbomb.com, a beautiful website in which you can go ahead and interact or discuss anything about Fallout, the Elder Scrolls, and just gaming related. And you can also talk to your favorite YouTubers as well on the YouTuber section. I have a section on there myself, Mr. Matty Plays has a section, Fudge Muppet has a section, and there's a few other YouTubers on there as well. It's just honestly a beautiful forum community if you want to go ahead and just be a part of that. The link for that will be down in the description below. But like I said, that's it for this tutorial, and until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.